today we're celebrating a Marcus Hall Enterprise this week. This is an annual event where we see games a party, sort of yes, for the MSMEs to provide our services for free. Throughout the year, the Philippine uh, Trade Training Center, the Philippine BPI, focus on small and medium enterprises to provide a year-long set of training to enable more and more small and enterprises to succeed in their line of business. Our original mandate was just focused on exports, but now, with a secretized directive that we become eventually the global small and medium enterprise academy, we shall embrace and enable quite the small enterprises from their inception until their eventual expansion of the business. Now, this is a tall order because we have to cover the whole value chain for MSMEs as they create value and compete in the global marketplace. Now, the word is compete. We are now part of the asset integration, so we have to be a part, even our own market, with important goods and products and services because we become a borderless economy. So our domestic-oriented companies and products and services must provide something that would be able to compete with be able to the preferred brand, the preferred product, instead of important ones. In terms of the big picture, we have a very, very uh, expanded market. So our middle class is expanding. So it's not just the Philippine companies that are interested in our markets. The rest of the assets is called the most dynamic area in the world. You know, the Middle East, uh, Europe, US, they are talking about mature markets and these kind of markets. But the Philippines is going to the sweet spot, so called sweet spot, where the domestic economy is so vibrant. So when we say we are competing, is basically we're talking about being patronized by the expanding market. And uh, we are all competing for the patronage of the Philippine market for Philippine products because brand loyalty is becoming a more important issue now for Philippine companies. Particularly in the history of the Filipino consumers and amber to the glamour of international goods. So it's very important that our Philippine manufacturers are very much progressed and much matured to the base and weapons of the consumer market. But it's also not just the consumer market including the industrial market because the world demands world-class quality products and services. So I would like to believe the Filipino buyers should not be given anything less. Uh, and it's not just enough about being very good about the products and services, it's about being innovative. It's the now. They have nothing new to offer them. It's so difficult to survive the competition, the emergence of better, cheaper, more new features, more convenience features, so it's a totally different world now the economy is facing. But I believe, always believe in the Filipinos. We're able to battle like with Hayan and Thermos Brazil, yet we're still in business because the Philippines is conquering the world now. In fact, Filipino presence there, where? And I believe business is just one of the areas where Filipinos have to show their mental. But it goes with certain challenges. Yes, everything begins with the mindset. It's so comfortable to be an employee. And going into business involves really a total commitment, a total risk to fail or succeed. Where being an employee means you are just being hard and the risk taker is your boss. So the challenge of taking risk should be there to begin with. Uh, I also noticed that a lot of companies would like to go into formulas, you know, success formula, what works, but in this age of VUCA, volatile, right? uncertain, complex and ambiguous, my goodness, is anybody's game now a practice risk or pillar behind? So, I do believe in Filipino talent and the Filipino's capacity to adjust to the world. Because a lot of Filipinos now are global citizens. So the mentality of my generation is very much different than the mentality of the current generation. And I believe there's no way. It's a reality we have to say that there are certain tools that are needed to succeed. Being uh, known brands like Google and Rosada would be easier to convince now the MSMEs to level up. Because being an unknown to our market, we would not be just as effective. 
another time I shall go as to the situation is that we have to be in somewhere and that level of familiarity and recognition is very important for the average SME. Well, learning is a never-ending process. So, when you think training, think BTPC. When you are with the Philippine Pay Training Center, we are operating in a learning community, not just in the Philippines, but in the whole ASEAN. So, in fact, the Philippines is the home of the ASEAN SME Academy Online. And these are mostly for free. Supposedly, if you don't have time, you must have the result to learn and do things better, faster, yeah. So everybody must look about that because we have to be like this to complete the rest of the world.